Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing a quick get ready with me while I answer some of your assumptions about me. So I really hope you enjoy this and let's get into the video. So I just need to just quickly clip my hair up. I don't really know what I'm getting ready for because I mean, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything. But I just thought it'd be nice to put some makeup on. I have already done my brows because they're crazy overgrown and I just literally struggle to fill them in. Hence why they're not looking the best right now. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk you through what I'm doing makeup wise, um, as I'm just gonna be answering your assumptions. So if you do have any questions, just let me know. Okay, so I've got all of the assumptions written down on my laptop on the floor. So if I keep looking down there, I'm really sorry. Okay, so the first one is, you try to mainly eat vegan or vegetarian. Um, I did go through a phase of trying to eat vegan. Um, it is quite difficult because living at home, I do just eat whatever my mom's cooking. And I did miss things like cheese and stuff. Um, I would probably be all right eating vegetarian and um, just because I don't particularly like a lot of meat. Um, so yeah, I'm not vegan or vegetarian as such. Um, I just tend to eat whatever's given to me really. So the second one is you love online shopping. Uh, yes, I am literally addicted to online shopping. I don't even know why. Um, I literally have no money and I'll still be online shopping, which isn't a good thing to be addicted to because my bank account hates me right now because I keep doing it because I've got nothing else to do. The third one is you only went to uni because you didn't know what else to do after. Um, yeah, this is very, very true. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I took a year out initially after I left school. Um, and then I was adamant I wasn't going to uni. Like I, like from the very start, like even before I even thought about applying to uni, so I was like, no, not going. Like I don't want to go to uni, whatever. And then I had a year out, and then it was coming to the end of the year out, and I literally just didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I knew I wanted to do something businessy. I did want to go into marketing, but I was scared to do a marketing course in case I changed my mind. Um, so I decided to go and do a. Uh, degree course in business management as it was very broad and regardless of what like I wanted to go into like that would have been a useful like degree to have and um, so yeah I did basically go in because I didn't know what else to do this foundation is making me look so pale but I think it's just because I'm like got a bit of a tan from the sun so it's like I don't even know if this is turning out good because I can't really see what I'm doing the next one is your body count is over five. It is definitely not over five. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's not over five. Okay, the next one is not really an assumption. It's just saying you're the sweetest person ever. And whoever wrote that, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say I'm the sweetest person ever, but thank you. Uh, the next one is also not an assumption. Um, it's just you are beautiful, kind, and so caring, and the loveliest girly. So thank you. I don't know <laughs> if I'm all of them. Personally, I wouldn't say I'm all of them, but thank you very much, whoever wrote that. You wish you never did sixth form. Uh, that's not true. I loved sixth form. I would honestly go back any day and do sixth form again. Like I'd probably say, like my school years, like even up to GCSE years. Um, but especially like eight levels, it was probably one of the best times for me. I really, really loved sixth form. It's kind of sad. I am a bit of a freak. I do really like learning. Um, I most definitely preferred sixth form to uni. I don't necessarily enjoy uni just because it's just not the nicest environment for me. The next one is you don't talk to anyone from school. I do definitely speak to people from school, probably not as much as I should. Like I have obviously my friends from school that I still talk to, but I, to be honest, I re I'm really bad at like keeping in contact with people. Like that's probably one of, one of the really bad habits that I've got. 
I'm rubbish at keeping in contact with people. I always go, oh yeah, uh, yeah, I'll drop you a message or oh yeah, we'll meet up, whatever, and I never do it. I'm so bad at that. So I'm really sorry. Don't take it personally if, you know, I've offended you by not keeping in contact. I am just the shittest person at doing that. I just forget. Like I go, oh yeah, I'll do it in a minute. And then I never do it. And then it's like the next year and I still haven't done it. <laughs> I do, to a certain extent, keep in contact with people from school, but not particularly as much as I did when I was in school. You've done drugs. Um, I have tried smoking weed, but other than that, I haven't done any other drugs. Yeah, I just don't know if it'll appeal to me. Like, I'm a bit too scared to try anything. I just don't think I'd like the effects and I would be very, very scared of becoming addicted. Yeah, I just feel like they're very, very dangerous. So I'd just be too worried that I'd get addicted. And yeah, they're just no good for you. I'm not against smoking weed or, you know, that. Obviously, it's never gonna be good for you, but anything else, I just, I just wouldn't really wanna to touch personally. You're shy when you first meet somebody, but when you come out of your shell, you're crazy and really like a laugh. And um, I probably said that is so true. When I first meet someone, I'm usually very, very awkward and like a bit weird. And I probably say stupid things to be honest. Um, just because I get really socially awkward. Like, I don't know why. Um, Cause it like, if you ask my friends, I'm probably the most annoying, loudest person ever. But yeah, I just get very nervous about like, different things and whatever. Yeah, I don't really know why. Just get very, oh, this doesn't wanna work. Very socially awkward. Um, but yeah, I probably would say I'm shy to start with. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you asked any of my friends, I'm definitely not shy now. I feel like I'm putting all this makeup on for absolutely no reason. And I'm just gonna probably end up washing it off afterwards. More waste. Okay, the next one is that I am posh. Um, a few people have actually said this to me because apparently I sound quite posh in my videos, but I am definitely not posh. Um, I don't know what it is. Like when I talk to cameras, my voice just goes really weird. And people think that I'm posh and I'm really, really not. Probably very far from posh, to be honest. But yeah, no, I'm not posh. The next one is you regret what you chose for GCSEs. This is a bit like the A-level one. I absolutely loved doing my GCSEs. I love to do my mocks. I love <laughs> doing the exams and the revision. Like I said, I'm a bit weird. I do like doing stuff like that. Um, yeah, no, I took, for GCSEs, I took, what did I take? I took business, art, and what was that? The one, did I take economics? I took a business, art, and something else. I don't know what else I took. There's art and something. Did you choose three or is it two? I don't know. I can't really remember what I took, but I absolutely loved business. Um, hence why I'm still doing business courses now and art I loved too um, I just don't really do a lot of that now to be honest I don't particularly keep up with my art like I used to I used to love doing photography so I love to do in all of my GCSEs like even I mean I probably struggled a little bit with maths and I definitely struggled with chemistry and French but all the rest I absolutely loved said I'm a bit of a freak because I really love learning stuff like I'm actually a bit scared like when I finish uni that I'm not going to be able to be learning anymore like I like being in the classroom environment <laughs> which I can't imagine a lot of 19 year olds would say I feel like I've I literally never wear makeup anymore and I don't know why because I have to get how much I love it I feel like this looks so crazy on the camera you don't care about the money side of YouTube, you just love what you do. And that is so, so true. Um, I don't think I'd enjoy doing YouTube if I, like it was just for the money. Like, I don't know. I just love creating, like I said before. Um, I really, really liked like photography and stuff like that at school. 
and like this is just like my idea of heaven like it's like a little creative outlet for me like I really really enjoy like sitting at night and editing I know lots of people will probably think that's very tedious work but I absolutely love it um, I couldn't think of anything better than just sitting down and editing like I like I think it's because I like like the little details I've just always loved stuff like that um, uh, I think that's where I got like the media marketing sort of aspect from that I enjoyed yeah when I do YouTube it's like a amazing feeling I just love the feeling of like being creative. Yeah, to me, it's definitely a lot more than just a video. Like I sit for hours and hours at a time, like editing different things, like doing all sorts of different things. And I like learning about it. Um, I like researching to learn about different things that I can do, different techniques, like how to do certain things, stuff like that. And it's just really nice to see at the end, like the end product that I've created and like for you guys to watch it and enjoy it. It's such a rewarding feeling. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really just not bothered about the money um, at all. Yeah, I don't even think that even crossed my mind when I made YouTube, but no. Obviously some people do do it for the money, which is totally fine if that's what they wanna do. It's just not for me and I forgot to, do the concealer under my eyebrows. <laughs> this is probably a very weird order. Okay, the next one is, you wear the trousers in your relationship. Um, I like to think that I wear the trousers in the relationship, but I know I most definitely don't. Um, in our, my relationship, I'd probably say that it's 50 or 50, although I do like to think that I get my own way. <laughs> but yeah, I probably wouldn't say I wear the trousers, um, but then I wouldn't say that my partner does either it's like a 50 50 split depending on the situation what else what do i do to my face <laughs> i can't even think what i'm meant to be doing mm, on my face <laughs> you don't have as many friends as you used to and that is probably very very true um i did used to have a fair few amount of friends no i would much rather have a smaller friendship group which are true friends than a bigger friendship group which you know aren't as true because the friends that I have now are so amazing and I literally wouldn't want it any other way like I'd much rather have a smaller friendship group than friends that are fake or you know go behind your back and do stuff that's just not a bit of me at all you would much rather work for your money than have it handed to you on a plate and that is so true like i said before i really like learning and like working um regardless of like you know if i was handed on a plate i would feel awful i just really really want to earn it myself because then it is a lot more rewarding because you know that you like deserve it um yeah personally for me i would much prefer to earn it then just be handed on a plate because it is a lot more rewarding. I would much rather work for my money. I am so bad at this, I can't multitask. <laughs> you don't want to get married. And this is actually a really funny question because if you asked me that three years ago, I would have definitely said no. Like I did not want to get married at all. Um, but since I've met my partner now, um, I've actually changed my mind about it and yes i would love to get married it's not something that i necessarily dream about like i know a lot of girls like that's that's like what they live for yeah that's not what i live for but it's definitely something that i would do with the right person the stereotypical thing is that girls like dream about that when they're younger and i really really didn't at all I think also it is important to know that it is the right person. Like I know it's probably not just me, but I am very afraid of the thought of finding someone and then marrying them and then getting a divorce. Like I want to be with one person for the rest of my life. You are not a morning person. Um, you know what? I don't know if I'm a morning person or not. Um, sometimes I absolutely love 
the mornings and others i just hate them like i don't want to get up don't want to do anything yeah so it really really depends i do really like getting up early um i hate sleeping in although it feels good because my body obviously sometimes it needs it um i hate like how it feels like wasting the day like you get up at like half 11 12 o'clock and like the whole day is wasted i hate that so like i'm definitely not a sleeper inner is that even a thing not a sleeper inner I'd much rather get up early, even if it meant I was tired. So you like a night out. Um, I definitely do like a night out. However, I work in a pub, so I tend to be working on most nights that people go out. Um, so I don't particularly go out very much. And I do equally like a night in. Like I do like sitting in with like a takeaway and a glass of wine at home. Um, but... I definitely miss going out a lot. Just, it's really nice just to, you know, let your hair down and enjoy yourself, um, which I do not do enough. So yeah, um, I definitely do like a night out, but I wouldn't say I prefer like one or the other. I don't think, I don't know. Do I prefer a night out? I, I prefer a night out if it didn't have the hangover afterwards because I hate hangovers and I hate being sick. So if I've drank too much and I'm sick, then I literally hate myself for it. There is nothing worse. Like I always cry every time I'm sick because I hate it so, so much. So other than that, I do love a night out. Okay guys, so that is all the assumptions answered. I finished my makeup. This is just the finished look. Um, it's sort of a bronzed, look with some brown winged eyeliner and um, yeah i don't really know what i've got ready for but it is just nice to have a little bit of makeup on but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and thank you for answering the assumptions on my instagram story i am trying to be a little bit more active on there so make sure you check out my instagram it's always linked down in the description bar so please do check that out if you like this video please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you again in my next video bye guys